Well, it's your boy, Jage Gibbons here. And we'll see. Welcome to another episode of the Acromas Podcast, episode 124. If you are listening, it means you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you can hear a podcast. If you are watching us, it can mean one thing and one thing only. It means you're watching us on YouTube. And there are three things I need you to do before you do anything else. I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You see, the next time that you hop on YouTube and you're scrolling down your feed and you're looking for a video that will help you unlock the the path in life that you were supposed to go down the entire time, you'll find none other than your Chromas podcast here to help you. And most of all, we'll see. Is free to do so. Even my son is interested. In it. He's like trying to get in on it and trying to make sure he can tap in and listen with us as well right now. So you can do the same by making sure to like our content, subscribe to it, turn on that notification bell, share it as well. Each one teach one is our motto. If you find any of this to be very helpful, any of these gems that we're going to be dropping to you today, that's the best way you can do it. And if it's any part of this conversation that you're really enjoying and you want us to pick it up and chat with you exclusively about it, Drop comments below as well, and we'll get right to it. And we'll be waiting for you. What a week it has been. We'll see. I, and I'm sure for those out there who are listening, you probably had a very, um, very rough week. I mean, I, I know the weather is starting to pick up here on the East Coast. It's It was hot as hell later on in the week. Um, but besides that, I think this past week of reflection and trying to determine exactly what it means – to be sacrificial. Um, I think that that was a week for that. I know we had our last episode, 123, um, just more of a special episode to uh, commemorate those who uh, were lost in battle in any of the wars that we've had um, for Memorial Day. Uh, and I think that episode was one of reflection. And um, we do appreciate the likes, comments, any, any feedback we got from that particular episode. Um, and we... You know, we we understand that going through going through life, understanding that you have a purpose, that you must be somebody who helps others that cannot help themselves, um, whether because of physical ailments or, um, you know, it's just not just not their own vision uh, to be able to sit up there and say, yeah, I want to defend my country. I want to defend those I love. Uh, I, I want to defend our way of life. Um, it it takes it takes a very strong and brave man or woman uh, to be able to do so. So once again, we were we were proud um, and excited to have that episode last week. Um, that's Memorial Day special, just for those who have a paid the ultimate sacrifice, but b those who who are still carrying on the legacy for those who are no longer here. Uh, so we wanted to put that episode. Um, together for you guys, and we we hope you were able to uh, to listen and enjoy for what it was. Yeah, um, not too much to add on to that that Jay didn't already just say. Um, again, we just wanted to give our appreciation as best we how, could could do, and know how, and utilize our platform to do so, um, and just say thank you to everyone again. We really appreciate for you for your service your sacrifice um and this is our way of letting you know how much you matter to us for that 100 percent. we'll see and um in case you guys don't know we are recording this on a saturday um and of course we do have the partnership the renewed partnership with wrng fm power jams hot radio of course you can hear us every monday on that radio station at 12 noon uh that is central time uh, so be sure to put your ears and your eyes on that radio station at that time in case you did not catch the latest episode of your Chromas podcast or you have not watched it on YouTube. But I wanted to give a shout out to the radio station this weekend, specifically today. I know, again, we were recording today, but tomorrow this will be posted. So it would have already happened. But um, the WRNG FM Power Jams Hot Radio is sponsoring a first annual Caribbean American Heritage Expo. Um, it is Saturday, which is today from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you are in the Houston, Texas area, be sure to stop in for music, games, food and more, as well as a few tournaments. And I, I know there's a lot of competitive people out there. I'm sure if I was in Houston, Texas right now, I'll be competing. doesn't mean I'll win, but uh, the competitive juices are always flowing here. We'll see. So I just wanted to give a, 
a special shout out and of course a, a another thank you to WRNG FM Power Jam Side Radio for for always supporting us, for always putting us out there to a much larger audience, um, and for being a sponsor for the first annual Caribbean American Heritage Expo down there in Houston, Texas. Yeah, um, we hope that you guys are able to enjoy um, from where we are. Um, we we aren't able to to get there, so we hope that uh, if you are in the area, stop on in. You know, get some good vibes, some good music, some good fun, just being around, just good, good vibes all day. That's what we aim to give out our way. So we're going to be doing it on this end and you can definitely get it there. So we hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see. And I think, you know, uh, with with what we've done uh, with the Acromas podcast, again, this 124 episodes straight, uh, which is an unbelievable feat. And I, you know, I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time patting ourselves on the back, but um, it's it's been a journey to get to this point. We'll see. And we've put we've put a lot of work in mainly because we wanted anyone out there who is going through some of the struggles that we are mentioning um, to become aware of this solution and action based podcast. Uh, so we've I'm, I'm hoping we've been able to make the connections with those who are out there. Um, in our audience, those who are listening, those who are watching every single week, we want to thank you for that. And we wanted to develop a little bit more of a way to connect with you um, where we can we can not only organize our podcast in a way where our content is a little bit more digestible, uh, but we want to put out exactly what the solutions are that we are that we are saying that we are solving. Um, so, this episode today will mark the very first episode in a series of episodes every quarter um, of the years that will be coming, um, where we will have a series that defines a particular personal development topic that we can really dive in on. And on, on a lot of these series, we'll have guests, experts that are in the particular field that we'll be talking about. Um, and for some, uh, like this and, and the, like this one in particular, we'll be talking about some of the experiences that we have had. Um, we are going to name this particular series for the month of June, uh, the Define Your Purpose series. So during this series, the next four episodes you're going to hear are going to be all about what it means to define your purpose. How do you, how do you even understand what your purpose is? How do you go about finding it? How do you define it? How do you, how do you achieve it? All of these questions will be will be answered in these next four weeks uh, for the Acromas podcast. So uh, without further ado, I, I know we'll see in the past. I know we had we had a couple episodes, I think one in particular, episode 53, where we talked about um, does your purpose fulfill you? And in that episode, I, I know we tried to define what a purpose is, I think even briefly. Um, but, you know, for this episode in particular, we wanted to to really dive into exactly what a purpose means, what having a purpose means. And um, I know a lot of us out there, um, we we go about defining goals sometimes that um, are not necessarily realistic. Um, they, they aren't really time oriented or sensitive. Um, they, they, you know, they may not be specific. They may not be measurable. Um, so therefore they're not going to be achievable. As you can just see there, I went through the entire smart goal set if you know what smart you know that acronym means for goal setting and all of those are very important parts but i think one one aspect that is missing from from the sort of the smart goal strategic goal setting um theory is the idea of what a purpose should mean and and personally we'll see i think the purpose that you have in your life should drive you uh with anything that you're doing and I and, and I know we'll get to this. Of course, you can have different purposes at different times in life. But I think truly understanding what your purpose is will allow you to drive towards that particular purpose with everything in your life that you're doing. And I'll give you an example. Um, if your purpose is to be known or defined as one of the fittest people in the world, um, there are certain things that you must do to get to that point, right? Especially if you are not at the stage where you could say that you are in shape, right? I think the very first thing is understand your patterns, understand your habits and how you got to that particular point. The next stage is, is trying to figure out exactly 
what exercise regimen, what nutrition regimen can help you towards the goal that you have set. Um, of course, as you continue going and you get closer and closer to your purpose, um, there will be things that you you come across that you'll say, man, I, I wish I knew that ahead of time or I wish I, I could have defined that before. But I think the purpose of living a purpose-driven life is that you will continuously manipulate the goals that you set along the way. Because sometimes goals change. Um, other times, you know, what what you may be chasing may not be for you in that particular season. And it's important to to be as well rounded as you can to understand exactly what you're chasing. So um I think we'll see one of the other aspects as well as, you know, not not just necessarily understanding what your purpose is, but having having a purpose that is emotionally driven. I think that is one aspect that might be missing from those who are trying to understand what a purpose might be for them. And when I say emotionally driven, I mean, there has to be something that is literally driving you to achieve this goal. Um, not just saying that it's something on paper uh, to say, Hey, you know, my goal is to be healthy. Uh, my goal, my, my purpose is to be a healthy person and to, to live a longer life. But I think beyond that, there's something in there that you can define that might be holding you back now uh, that you can use as fuel, because I, I truly believe that an emotional connection to your purpose will allow you to have a better chance at achieving it or getting to that pinnacle at some point, um, rather than not having such. So again, if we're going back to the fitness example, I would say that somebody who is living a purpose-driven life when it comes to fitness there is something in your life that means more than anything to you in the world. Um, it could be your children, right? I know there are people who have decided that they wanted to live a purpose-driven life for their children specifically. They knew that they had to be in the best shape of their lives to play with their kids, to be around for their children, to to serve a purpose in their own lives. And you cannot do that when you're sick or you're not in the best shape that you possibly can for them. So with that being an emotionally driven factor, when it comes to chasing that purpose or when it comes to, to, to goal setting in particular, I think having that emotionally driven concept allows you to focus more on what that end goal is and what that purpose would be for yourself. So um, we'll see. I think, I think for this particular episode, especially when it comes to defining what it means to have a purpose. I mean, uh, you know, uh, as long as if it's coming for me, um, what I would say, you know, is, is, is having that journey be emotionally driven. Um, that central motivating factor in your life would be your purpose. So anything that is in alignment with your purpose would have to be, would have to be a part of the goals to get there. Um, again, if, if we're talking about health, then we're talking about ensuring that not just your physical is good, uh, but your mental and emotional um, health is at the the best peak level as it can be. Um, and I, I think I think ensuring that all of those things are in alignment will allow you to define and um, achieve your purpose in a not just a timely manner, but just in general. Um, so you know, I, I would I would say we'll see to ensure that you you don't get distracted. Um, meaning that there isn't a set of different purposes that you are trying to achieve at one time. Uh, make sure that you're driven because whatever is driving you to achieve this goal or this this particular purpose that you have um, should, should be central in your life. Every decision that you make should be because of the purpose that you were trying to achieve, the purpose that you were, that you were, you were trying to get to. Um, so we'll see. I, I wanted to turn it over to you to see if there are any other aspects when it comes to defining what it means to have a purpose that you that you believe would be best for our audience to hear? Um, I think you're right on the money with a lot of it. Um, what you said, um, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, I think the last couple of points that you referenced um, are along the lines of what I was thinking on too. Um, the you know multitasking and having multiple. Um, outlines of goals as we'll put it um it's 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 okay but i think it's really important to set them within a realistic expectation with what you can handle all at one time 
because if you split yourself up into like four different directions, you're not really going to be able to maximize and give your best effort because you're distracted all over the place, right? So I think it comes back to just understanding like the importance of recognizing what it is that you 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 aspire to to achieve. Um, and sometimes, sometimes you're not going to know what that is. You're not going to have an idea to know what your purpose is are in life and it says purposes because we all have many purposes in our lifetime that we should have aimed to achieve or serve um some uh, to us that we are aware of and some unbeknownst to uh, just based on our actions of what we're doing um and kind of like the driving force and direction we go in our lives and our journey but yeah i think as a whole um it's a good practice to just kind of outline maybe what you consider to be a purpose uh, driven goals and objectives that you're trying to achieve um, and how close are you to them? What are the stepping stones that are set up in place and what do they look like? Um, you know, and as you reference as well with distractions, uh, those are very real um, and it works on both sides of it because sometimes, you know, our distractions are things we know that are there and we intentionally keep it there to, 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 to have a, a reason or excuse as to why we aren't pursuing whatever we would dare to dream to pursue because sometimes it's just that hard or it feels like it's that hard right anything that is resistant isn't easy it's not supposed to be um but you push through and you persevere because it's something that you are passionate about which is what jay was referencing about emotions and it being emotionally driven um i think that's a huge factor on it as well but you just have to truly have the will to 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 choose to do whatever it is that you're trying to aspire to do um and that's again within realistic expectations like that is achievable you know um for example if you say someone you want to someone that said like i want to fly what does that mean like when you say that like you know there's so many different variations as, as to where that can go and uh as simple as that statement was like the truth is is that's why it's important to outline what does that mean to you? What is that? It, that's a realistic week is something that can be achieved. Um, and how do you map a plan out for it? I feel like if you're going to have anything that's going to be successful, you got to have it outlined, Jay. You got to be intentional about it and be practical about taking the meticulous steps along the way to get you there to the ultimate goal of what that is. And then, cross that off your list and move on to the next one that you have outlined. So I think it's great to have all the objectives of like what you want to achieve, just like a video game, right? You got like four cheap, cheap, four things as our objectives that's on there. You're not, you can't do them all at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to go with, with the one that makes sense, prioritize them about what your needs are and what's going to be most impactful in your life on the journey towards the next one. That's what I would suggest and recommend. Like in my own life, I'm trying to take that advice now with some personal things and be practical about it because, you know, continuing to allow distractions to, to just be what they are is only going to hinder you from getting to where you're trying to go. And I got places I want to be while I still have life left in me. So I'm sure you feel the same way out there too. Um, and it's simple as a pen and a pad. It's as simple as pulling your phone out and going to the notes and just jotting down some pros and cons and things about yourself, what works, what don't work, what's going to help you get closer to achieving that goal, what's not, what distractions you need to rid yourself of, what um, attributes you need to work on. These are all things that are very, very important when you are trying to serve that of a higher purpose to achieve whatever it is that you want in life, whatever your goals are. Um, you know, you can go on and on about it. But again, as we mentioned, you know, we're just getting started with this. So um, I just wanted to touch on those tidbits and just share that aspect of it, um, Jay, because I felt like you addressed a lot of it in um, what you initially shared with us. But again, guys, prioritize by outlining what it is that you want. Uh, seeing if these are realistic goals that are achievable. Uh, and if you are planning to go after any of these said goals, make stepping stones, bucket list to get to the ultimate end game of that goal, um, whatever that looks like. And then as you're marking them off, be intentional 
about the process. Be intentional about how you can build off of that momentum because again, momentum is big. Uh, it's a part of the process with the emotion as well. Momentum is big. Just like when you work out, when you have a good workout set, you feel good. So you're going to want to feel that feeling again. You're going to want those, those endorphins to kick in again. So you're going to keep going and steamrolling with it because you want to see the results. It's no different than when you're pra practicing how to outline those objectives for personal goals in your life. I'll be a fitness, financial, uh, relationship, um, you know, career, whatever it is that you're trying to aim to do. That's how you go about doing it. Well said, we'll see. And I, I love the, the practical items that you even placed in there when it came to jotting down notes, whether it's pen to pad or on your phone. I mean, we all have these smartphones now and there's a notes app and, um, literally what I've done, um, especially when it came to breaking down what my purpose is and detailing from the purpose to the ultimate goal, to the mini milestones to get to that point, um, as well as the mission statement, it really helps to prioritize things and organize things in a great way. And that's what the 21, three method does. It's exactly, that's the exact purpose of it. And so going back to the notes before you, before we skip past that part, would you mind? Cause I'm sure we have some new listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, I give a, a brief synopsis of, of what the 21 three method consists of. Cause I know we mentioned it from time to time, kind of forget that sometimes it's like, you know, we do have new people who are unfamiliar with what that is and what it means to us and you know, Chrome's brand community. Yeah. I mean, the 21 three method, I think is the epitome of foundational building in your life. Um, specific to the 21 three method that we created that was based on your life. We'll see, um, and what you were going through at that particular time. The 21, three method details, the exact method of will C's absolute transformation, um, during a very difficult time in his life. And I think what's most important about the 21, three method is that it does not hold back anything. It does not hold any punches any emotional, every and any emotional feeling that we'll see was going through at the time that he was on this journey is detailed um, to the nth degree in the 21-3 method. And we use the 21-3 method as the foundation uh, for a new lifestyle that you are building. Now, we say the foundation because the foundation, as we all know, is the most important aspect of a home, of a building, right? If your foundation is not poured correctly, if it's not set correctly, if the home or building or whatever is not sitting correctly on the foundation, it's going to crumble. It's going to start from the top and crumble down to the bottom. So the reason why we ensure that the foundation is strong is because your foundation will allow you a point to go back to in order to reassess everything that you've done rather than going back to square one. Once you have that strong foundation and you understand exactly what your, for example, in the fitness side, when you understand exactly what your body can tolerate, what nutrition might work for you, um, what journey in fitness you're having, you understand that if there is a point where you may relapse or you may go back to some old habits that you've had, or there might just be a very tumultuous time in your in your current stage of life uh, where you have to reassess something, you are now allotted those three days, which is the three part in the 21, three method to reassess things, reset and, and revitalize yourself to continue on your, on your lifestyle that you were creating. And again, that is the beauty of the 21, three method is that you're not starting over from scratch. We say that if you use the 21, three method and you have to come back to us again for the 21, three method, we are not doing our jobs correctly. We believe that the 21-3 method is the foundation of your new lifestyle. So ensure that you use it to continue to build yourself, to continue to grow. Um, and after those 21 days, man, you're you're going to continue to do the exact same things that got you to where you were at that time. And it's all about refinement. It's all about growth, we'll see. And um, for anyone who wants to find out more about it, acromasfitness.com right now, we have a special on it. Um, if you use the promo code IMATTER, you get 25% off of this incredible, incredible action-oriented practical guide for you to start today. So when we were talking about this, when it came to the notes, we'll see it and jotting down these notes. That's exactly what is in the 21-3 method. We have 
we literally have places in the 21-3 method where you can write down exactly what you're going through that day, exactly what we'll see has written down. You have the opportunity to spill your emotions onto paper to make it real. So that once you're seeing it, once you feel it, and, and even when you're even when you're typing it or writing it out, we'll see you will learn so much more about it, about yourself. You'll mm-hmm. learn that you have established the ability to be reflective and honest about what your journey is at that particular time, right? Day one was hell for you. Day two was hell for you. Day three yeah. was hell for you. All the way through day seven until you started really honing in on what it felt like to be whole again. That's when things started to to change. And it didn't even, when I say change, I'm not even talking about you're your 100% healed. This was just the 1% thing, right? You found that niche. You found what made you better. You found exactly what you meant to yourself. And that is what the 21-3 method does for you. It's not going to be an immediate change for you. But again, it helps you to build that foundation. So when it comes to understanding what it means to have a purpose this is a re- this is really a long term goal that has an impact on the world as well as on yourself. It is truly a journey that is emotionally driven for you. The central motivating factor of your life is what this purpose is going to be. Again, if your purpose is to have a high net worth in order to feed your family or in order to to establish another connection that you want in your future, there are certain things, there are certain ultimate goals that you have to have. There are certain mini milestones you'll have to get through to get to that point. And that is the purpose of goal setting. That is the purpose of the 21-3 method that helps you to establish these goals. And of course, there's a reason for everything at that time specifically when you are going for your purpose, there's a reason for everything that you do. And here's what I mean by that. There was a time we'll see where I did not live a purpose-driven life. Who knew that, right? (laughs) Or none of us are perfect. And that is is the point of why we're doing this now, because we are coming at you as people who have been through this before, the same stuff you're probably going through now. There's a time where I was not whole, we'll see. There was a time where I depended on food to put me in a satiated stage or state of mind where I didn't have to think about things. I didn't have to react to things. And I know there's a lot of people out there, especially in our society today, that they want to, they want to, they want to use a term to allow them to continue to live a life that's unhealthy because they are not ready to face something that has happened in their past where they are using food to cope with with something that has happened in their in their life and i say that from experience because that is the same thing i've done and there was a there was a turning point we'll see where i knew that if i was going to make a change if i was going to achieve the purpose that i have set for myself if i was going to continue on this path this vision that i had there had to be a reason for everything i did at that point when I was not whole, there was a reason for eating the foods that I was eating. There was a reason for, for gobbling down all the calories I consumed. There was a reason for drinking the amount of alcohol I did. It was because I wanted to, to be in this comatose state. I wanted to not deal with the issues of my life. And that was the purpose at that time. That was the known purpose. I know that now because I'm living in my truth that at the purpose at that time, I didn't want to be here. So Exactly. So uh, I, that was my purpose. It wasn't a good one, but it was my purpose at that time. So when I say the reason for everything, right, I had a reason to drink. I had a reason to eat some of the most unhealthiest foods you can possibly eat at one time. I had a reason to consume all these calories. I had a reason to go lay down after eating all of this. So there was a reason for everything. And it was all in alignment with the purpose I had, which is just not being here. So when I flip that and I say, okay, now I have a reason for everything from a healthy standpoint, from a fitness standpoint, I have a reason to cook my own meals. I have a reason to go to the gym consistently. I have a reason to to try to bring in some other wellness aspects into my life that I have not done. Some other wellness exercises, whether it's meditation or or deep breathing exercises, yoga, right? Which is all of these different things are now part of my purpose because my purpose is to be healthier. My purpose is to live a healthier lifestyle in order to help others do the same. 
I now have to be living in that purpose at all times, right? Of course, there are going to be times where you get the distractions or you you get the temptations to, to not necessarily go back to where you used to be, but temptations are always around us and none of us are perfect. But having the 21-3 method is that foundation, truly understanding what my vision is, understanding that there's a reason for everything I do. And if my purpose is along the lines of fitness, I know that everything I do has to be in alignment with that purpose. It allows me to live a much more focused and healthier life. So I would say we'll see those aspects of what it means to have a purpose. Um, I truly believe that if anybody else out there who is, who is listening to this has any sort of takeaway from this, it's it's understanding that your purpose should drive every single thing in your life. It should be the reason for everything you do. So with that being said, we'll see. I, I did want to turn it over uh, to our audience right now. It is This is literally the first episode in our series, Defining Your Purpose. Now is the time to do that work. Instead of just having a week, you have a month to do this. We will have three other episodes that are in alignment with what a purpose looks like, figuring that out, how to create it from scratch. All of that great content is coming. But now it's a step for you to take advantage of defining what that is for yourself, understanding what it means to have a purpose. Maybe that's something that you did not know before. Um, so we want you right now to follow along with us on this journey because it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a lot of growth. It's going to be a lot of a lot of difficult questions you're going to have to ask yourself. It's going to be a lot of things that are asked from you in order to be whole or to to understand what your purpose is. If you decide that this is something you want to do, you must be committed. You must put one step and one foot in, in front of the other. You must understand that with 1% change each and every time, you are eventually going to be 100% different than you used to be before. Most of all, you're going to be 100% living in your truth. So we want you to come along with this journey. That is that is literally the action plan. It's co to commit to this. And we'll see, I think, I think, especially when it comes from my perspective, when it came to committing to something like this, it did take a week. It took maybe a little even, you know, more than that, right? Even when you were doing your journey on the 21-3 method, it really took those seven days to really hone in to what it is exactly that you wanted to become, their, your true self, right? So I want you to spend these next seven days committing fully committing to this idea that you can be better, you can be whole, there's a purpose out there that you can fulfill. We want that to be for you this week. We also want to get some feedback that you have committed, that you are committed. And for those who are committed, we will feature your name on the next episode of your Chromas podcast. And you will also receive a promo code that will allow you to get 50% off of anything in our store, including the 21.3 method. So again, what we do with these podcast episodes is ensure that we are building a community with you, like-minded individuals who are after a purpose-driven life. And that is exactly what we're doing here. So make sure to, to follow us, make sure to be along with us on this journey. It's going to be a wild one. It's going to be fun. We're going to ask a lot of you. You're going to ask a lot of us, but at the end of it, I can guarantee you that you will be at least 50% better, 50% ahead than where you were before. If you're watching us for the first time, we want to thank you for joining us. We want to thank you for being a part of episode 124, the beginning of this new series named Define Your Purpose. If you have been here before and you still do not know how to spell us out, what we're about or what we do, let me help you out again. A-C-H-R-O-M-O-U-S. If you are listening, you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. If you're watching us, it can mean one thing and one thing only. It means you're watching us on YouTube. I want you to do something. If you did not do it before, I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You see, these series are going to be out on YouTube as well. They're going to have, it's going to have its own sort of video series where you can click on it and you'll see every single video that has to go into defining what your purpose is. So this is something we wanted to create for you so that once you come to our page, it's a not, it's a, it's literally a one-stop shop 
or anything personal development or self-help and most of all we'll see it's free to do so guys we we say this week in we week, week out it's not going to change uh it's free to do so and this is something that's purpose will be driven for you uh the consumer so if you can do that we'll be greatly appreciative for liking our support like liking our content subscribing to it turn it on the notification bell uh commenting below if you would like for us to pick up any part of the conversation that we were discussing uh and we can pick it up with you directly we'll be happy to do so no problem at all and then could you also again just share it each one teach one is our motto and this is how we're going to reach other people and reaching you specifically we need you to turn on uh the notification bell as well 100 percent. we'll see look guys you have seven days to commit we're, we want to give you all seven we don't want you to turn this off and immediately see yep I'm good. Let's go. I got a purpose. Let's do it. We want you to dig in. Chances are, if you're listening to this all the way through, there's something in your past that might be holding you back. Um, whether it's an experience that you had in the past that has now gripped you with fear that you cannot overcome. Maybe there's something that you're trying to suppress um, that is also holding you back from achieving the goals and the dreams that you have. Now is the time to reflect on that. And now is the time to commit to living a better and healthier lifestyle that you've done before. You have seven days, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you then. Until the next episode of the Acromas Podcast and the second part of the Define Your Purpose series, it is your boy, J.H. Gibbons. I'm Wilson. We'll